Hello all, welcome to part 30 of Kukumbar VDD training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use before step and after step hooks in Kukumbar project. So let's get started. In the previous sessions, I covered how to use hooks in Kukumbar project. At same time, in the next session, followed by this session, I covered tagged hooks. Okay, how to use tagged hooks in Cucumber project. So in this, as part of this hooks in Cucumber, I covered at the rate before and at the rate after hooks. Okay, in this previous sessions, in case of hooks and tagged hooks, I only covered at the rate before and at the rate after hooks only. Now we have few more hooks available in Cucumber. That is, we can also use, apart from using before hook and after hook, we can also use at the rate before step hook and at the rate after step hook okay so these hooks that is before and after will run before and after every scenario but this before step and after step hooks runs for each and every step before each step after each step okay before uh, step hook will run before each step before the step before each step okay after step hook will run after each and every step in the future files okay so that's what is the difference guys in a theoretical fashion so let me practically demonstrate. You can even apply the tagged hooks to before step and after step as we have done with the before and after hooks. Okay, similar fashion. No, no difference. So guys, let's quickly switch to this uh, Eclipse ID project. Uh, here, if you remember in the search.java, we have added this uh, before and after hooks. I'll remove these guys. Okay, you can have them, but uh, you can have both before and uh, before step. Everything you can have together, but uh, just to avoid the confusion, I'm removing, removing that. Okay. Just to avoid the confusion, when I'm explaining this uh, before step, after step, I don't want to have this uh, before and after. We can, they can work together also, okay? You can, in a, in a single step definition, you can have this before, before step, after, after step hooks. Everything can be together, but just for demonstration purpose, I'm removing that before and after hooks, okay? So here I'll write uh, a method, public word. I'll just name this as uh, before every step, okay? You can give any name for this method. I'm just giving some random name before every step. And I'll annotate this uh, method with uh, before step hook, okay? Before step annotation hook for the mouse and import this before step from Cucumber. And this particular method will become before step hook because of this Cucumber annotation. And this method will be running before every step in the feature file, okay? Here we have three feature files and in each and every feature file, we have scenarios. In each and every scenario, we have steps. So in um, for each and every step this before that particular steps get executed in each and every scenario of the each and every feature file this before step will be executed okay so i'll show you practically hmm? so here i'll write uh before every step hook i'll write okay or before before step hook or whatever it is i'm just writing some random text you can identify that so then I'll write after also at the same time I'll write after after every step okay after every step in the scenarios of the feature files this particular method will be invoked when you annotate this particular method with the uh, after step annotation from cucumber this particular method with this annotation will become after step hook and uh, whatever the print statement you are typing here for sample purpose will be printed after each and every step in the scenario of each and every feature file okay after every step hook okay after every step hook okay yes, okay that's it now so just to avoid confusion i have removed the editor rate before and editor rate after hooks okay uh, for now we only have the before step after step only they will be executed okay you can write this before step and after step in any of the step definitions case it's not compulsory uh, to provide this before step and after step hooks in each and every step definition any of these feature files related step definitions you select, either register or login or search you select, okay? If you provide in one of the step definition classes of this feature files, that's enough, guys. It will be applied for all the feature files, okay? So run this now, go to the runner class, open the runner class and run this. All the feature files will be running and you will see that for each and every step in the feature files, scenarios, you see this before step hook will be executed before every step after step hook will be executed after every step. You can see that in the output console here, Eclipse ID console here, you see? So here one of the, this green color thing is, not, all the green color things are nothing but the steps, right? Steps of the scenarios in the feature file, okay? If you see you see this login feature file, you see this is a login feature file, guys, running in the first scenario. 
So you see, given given user navigates to login page is there. Given user navigates to login page is there. So before this step got executed, before you see the step has printed here. User got name before this particular step got executed. Before every step who got before uh, before step who got executed. You see that's the reason this print statement got printed before every step. If you want to give a different symbol just to identify that before step hook and after step hook, I'll give some simple guys. Okay. Uh, I'll say plus plus otherwise, okay? So that you can feel the difference. You can see where exactly this got uh, added and all the stuff in the Eclipse ID console. Let me run this again. This time you'll see clearly, okay? Before every step, the before step hook will be executed. After every step, after step, okay? Hook uh, will be executed, you see? This is before hook. This is after hook, okay? Plus plus symbols. This is a step, guys. This is a step which got executed because of this step got executed. This print statement got printed. You know that. Okay. This green color thing is a step and uh, it has invoked this step definition method and the print statement in that particular step definition method got invoked before that particular step, before every step hook got uh, printed and uh, after every step hook got printed. You see before step hook and after after step hook. Okay. Again, for seconds, second, uh, I mean, second statement in the first scenario itself, again before and after are coming. Is it third statement before after like that for every every step of every scenario of every feature file this before after before after you see everywhere it is same before after before after okay before after before after before after before after you see till the end you can say the last uh, uh, such dot feature file also if you see guys you see the last step also if you see this is the last step Okay, which got executed before that step got executed before who got it before step who got executed and uh, after the step got executed after step who got executed. Okay, so this is how the before step and after step before step and after step hooks methods will be executed. Okay, and we can combine this tagged hooks with the before step guys. Okay, tagged hooks is not only specific for the before and after it also can be applied for before step and after step hooks also. So what we have to do here is small change we have to do guys go to the same uh, step definition class where you have added this uh, before step hook and after step hook so here what i will do is beside this i'll add the i'll just add a tag here okay circular brackets here in the double quotes provide a particular tag for example here i'll write uh, let's say register tag only okay only register tag i'll write so only what will happen here also double quotes and at the rate register you just write down at the rate register you write down click on save all now uh, go to the my runner and run this this time this before step hook and after step hook will be only applied for the uh, steps of the scenarios, okay, uh, which, which are related to at the rate register. You see here, register feature file has the scenarios mentioned as at the rate register. Guys. Only these four scenarios have, are mentioned with the at the rate register tag. For all the steps in this uh, uh, register feature file having this at the rate register tag, the this particular uh, before step hook and after step hook methods will be applied. Okay, so I'll update the project, guys. You see, when I'm opening this, you see, there's some warning messages are coming here. That means the steps disconnected from the step definition methods. Okay, so uh, right click on the project and say Maven. Uh, you have to do this often, guys, so that uh, these issues will be resolved. Okay, before you run the scripts and all the stuff, run the things. Uh, you see, after uh, this building process is over, let's see. You see that uh, the warnings have been gone you see now if you open you see the proper okay you don't see any violations okay step violations are not coming now okay so now guys i'll go to the my runner here i'll go to my runner and run this okay right click run as the j unit test let's see this time only for the at the rate register tag scenarios for each and every step before step hook will be executed after step hook will be executed you see uh from the beginning if you see guys the play, play symbols are not there you see for login related stuff because here uh, at the rate register tag is not there for these scenarios. So it is not applied. Uh, and finally, you come to the register guys. At the rate register, you see for the register only, this before uh, step hook and after step hook are running because of the tagged nature. Okay, we are tagging that uh, before step hook and after step hook methods with the uh, at the rate register tag. So for only this at the rate register scenario steps only before and after every step, this before and before step hook and after step code hook got executed, okay? Uh, if you go to the search again, it will be, you see, the last three scenarios are search related. You see, it's not coming, you see, before step hook and after step hook are not executed for the uh, uh, for the search also, okay? Only got executed for the register because you mentioned register here, okay? I'll remove, I'll remove these hooks now. I'll remove these hooks, guys, okay? So, anyhow, that's all for this session, guys, okay? That's all for this session. Let me clear these hooks because, uh, 
okay so whenever it is really required i'll be using the hooks for now i'll not be using the hooks guys okay so so that's all for this session guys uh there is one more topic uh regarding the hooks okay i'll be covering that in the next session so that's all for this session see you in the next session thank you bye